Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we are going to talk about the field initializer and the initializer list in the Dart constructor. Basically, I will talk about what are the different ways and different sections in which the initialization inside the constructor is possible. So without wasting time, let's get started. The constructor of Dart may have five sections. First one is name of the constructor. So there might be a name constructor that is the default constructor or the name constructor as per your choice. Second is the parameter list or the field initializer. So don't scare about what is field initializer if you don't know. So we'll talk about this in this video uh, completely. The third is initializer list. Fourth is a redirecting call using this. So if you don't know what is this redirecting call and how to use this, go ahead and watch the previous video where I have talked about Rewriting constructor using this very well in detail. And the last section of constructor is a body that is the definition of constructor, which is enclosed within opening and closing curly bracket. You might be knowing this one very well. One important thing to notice a single constructor cannot have all these five sections. There are, of course, limitations that a single constructor can have out of these sections. So I will talk about all these things in this video. Now, out of these five sections, there are three important sections in the constructor that allows us to perform the initialization of field that is to initialize our data member. The first section is called field initializer. This is famously known as the synthetic sugar for initialization that we write using this dot as some variable inside the parameter list of constructor. The second option is using the initializer list and the third option to perform initialization is inside the body that is inside the definition of constructor itself. So in this video, I will talk about what is the significance of each of them we have the field x and y inside the class point. Intentionally, I have taken this field as the nullable field. You will understand why I have taken this one as a nullable just in few minutes inside the same video. We have total three constructors in the class. Observe the first constructor. Inside the bracket, we have this dot x and this dot y. So we famously call this one as the synthetic sugar to perform initialization. But technically, this thing is called as the field initializer. Now observe the second constructor here. Inside this, we have the normal parameter that is the int a and int b. And after the bracket, we have the column. And thereafter, I'm doing x is equal to a and y is equal to b. So whatever thing that we write after this column to perform the initialization of field, this particular section is called as initializer list. And at the end, we have the third constructor. You can observe here, inside the third constructor, we have this x in int x and int y. Now make sure that this int x and int y is totally different than this dot x and this dot y because these are just the normal parameter list or you can say these are the uh, local variables of the constructor and using this local variable I am initializing my data members or my fields inside the constructor that is inside the body of constructor. Now I hope it's clear for you that there are total three ways or three places in which we can perform the initialization of variable inside the constructor. Now, in this video, I will talk about what is the significance of each of these place or each of this technique and what are the restrictions to use all these fields in the one constructor. When field that is the data members are non-nullable or final, then they must be initialized either as the field initializer or inside the initializer list. Because uh, the field initializer and the initializer list executes before the body of constructor. So let me explain this point with an example so that you should understand this one very well. And personally, I prefer that this point must be clear by each and every Dart and Flutter developer. You can observe here, we have two fields X and Y inside a class point. And intentionally, I have selected this X and Y as the nullable field. And you can observe here, this initialization is performed inside the body of constructor and here I am just accepting the normal parameters. So let me change this nullable to non-nullable and let me use the keyword called late here. So let me use late for the x, again late for the y. So I am removing this nullable symbol. So in this case my x and y are the non-nullable but these are the late fields here. So it's quite fine to initialize the late field here. So I hope it's clear for you guys that is if we have the nullable field or the late field it's quite possible to initialize them inside the body of constructor. But now let me remove the late from here and from here as well. Immediately you can observe Dartpad is giving me an error. It says non-nullable instance variable or instance field X must be initialized. Now let me talk about the reason behind the error here is. 
what is happening here when uh, when this construct is getting called i hope you might know that before the construct is getting called the object of points get created and inside that point object the field x and y will be created and as these fields are non nullable that suggests that as soon as this field x and y are created they must be initialized means there should not be a delay while initializing them but you know what is happening practically here this object is getting created and the x and y are created without having the initial value and thereafter we are trying to initialize that one inside the body of constructor so technically it's not valid means initialization must be done immediately when the fields get created even if i make it final let me use final here and final as well you can see the error remains in the code now let me remove this body from here and let me add a comma and let me add the concept called field initializer so when i write here this dot x and this dot y here so whatever thing that we write using this dot x and this dot y inside the parameter list of constructor this thing is technically called as the field initializer and we famously call this one as the synthetic sugar initialized constructor now you might observe here there is no error in my code now let me again explain reason for this one what is happening here the initialization that we are performing it's not inside the body of constructor rather it is inside the parameter list that is it is performed using the field initializer and technically field initializer executes before executing the body of constructor that's the reason when the object gets created inside an object x and y variables will be created and as soon as these x and y fields created inside the body immediately the x and y will have the value means they won't remain uninitialized immediately value will be assigned whatever the value that you pass by uh, invoking construct that value will be passed to this x and y so that's the reason it's quite fine to initialize the non nullable or final field so even if i remove final from here and final from here it's completely fine so i hope it's clear for you so let me explain this one in a brief now whenever we have nullable variable or the late kind of variable or late kind of field so it can be initialized uh, inside the body it's quite fine but when we have the non nullable field or the final field we cannot initialize that one inside the body it has to be initialized inside the initializer field there is one more option for this let me delete it from here and i can put the colon and i can write say x is equals to 10 and y is equals to 20 now whatever thing that we write after this colon is called as the initializer list now again uh, it is the same case whenever objects get created the x and y variable will be created inside the object and immediately creating after this variable this x will be assigned with the value 10 and y will be assigned with the value 20 so it is what similar to the field initializer so this concept is called as initializer list most of the programmer prefers to use field initializer over the initializer list for a single constructor both field initializer and the initializer list can be used to perform initialization for this constructor of point class we have the field initializer to initialize the field x and y and that is completely fine now along with this field initializer let me try to use initializer list which is of course not possible so let me try here so i can write here let's say x is equals to 10 and let me write here say y is equals to 20 so as soon as i write this line say x is equals to something and y is equals to something you can observe here that pad is giving me an error because it's not allowed to use both in the constructor so let's say if i remove this one from here then it's, it's completely fine because i'm using either the initializer list or the field initializer now it's quite possible you can write here let's say int x or let's say int a and int b here and let me pass the value of x uh, let me pass the value of this a to x and the value of b to y and now don't get confused here when i'm writing int a and int b it is not actually the field initializer it is the normal parameter list that i am using to just pass the value and the value of a is initialized to x and the b is just initializing the value of y now make sure that here i am just using the initializer list to perform the initialization but the values that i am receiving i am getting that values from the parameter list of constructor when initializing a field is a single goal of constructor then the body is optional it means if you are writing a constructor only and only to perform initialization of field and there is no other task to be done by the constructor then that suggests that in this case it's purely optional to write the body of constructor and 
you can simply write the semicolon just to close the constructor definition. Just observe here, we have the constructor of point class and inside that we have the field initializer and as I feel that there is nothing to be done by the constructor, it is just made to perform initialization, I can simply complete that definition with the semicolon. So it's not compulsory for me to write the definition that is the body of constructor here. But if you feel that there is something to be done by the constructor, means there has to be done some task by the constructor. So in this case, it's quite fine to write the body and you can write whatever things that you want to do inside your constructor definition. Field initializer or initializer list is not allowed for factory constructor. Means if you want to use the field initializer or the initializer list, of course, anyone can be used in your constructor. But whatever constructor that you want that thing to be used, make sure that that constructor must be the generative constructor and not the factory constructor. Just observe this example. We have the constructor called point and as I'm using factory keyword here, so it becomes a factory constructor. I can observe here, inside this factory constructor, I'm trying to use this field initializer and dark pad is giving me an error. Now, let me remove that one here. That's completely fine. And let me try to use the initializer list. Let's say if I use here, say x equals to 10, uh, y equals to 20, even I'm having error here because it's not allowed in the factory constructor. For a single constructor, both initializer list and redirection using this is not allowed. We have the default constructor point here, and inside this constructor, I'm using the initializer list. That's why I return a colon and I'm passing the value of x as 10 and y as 20. So it's completely fine. But along with this initializer list, let me use the redirection. For this, I need to use again a colon and let me write here, let's say this dot demo. And you can observe here immediately that pad is giving me an error because it's not possible to use both. That is, we can't use both the, the redirection concept and the initializer list. Either we have to use the initializer list or the redirection concept for the single constructor. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found my videos helpful and if you really understand the concept that I'm explaining, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.